How many Scrum Masters do we have on the room? Just give me a hand. Okay, how many uh, Agile coaches do we have on this room? Different people, strange. Strange. Uh, I think it should be kind of close to each other. I mean, those two doors. Uh, and I see from those hands that I will have uh, many new friends after this talk or many new enemies. Uh, not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, what I would like to show you is what I call my uh, little Scrum Master model. And I don't differentiate between Scrum Master and, this, uh, and, and, and Agile Coach. So this is uh, like the same to me. And I also think this is more or less the same to what I call a change agent. Uh, we are about to change the organizations we are in. That's the role, right? So my view on this role, um, I will show it uh, to you through six lenses, six areas, six domains. I believe we should be active in as change agents, Scrum Masters, Agile Coaches. Um, and this is something that is uh, a bit difficult uh, to some. And I will, I'm will. i curious uh, how you will react to that. Um, the first lens or the first, per first perspective or first uh, area or domain is obviously Scrum, if Scrum is your thing. Scrum is definitely my thing. But, but but this uh, word, I basically mean all those things that relate to the working model you accepted as your own. Could be Scrum, could be Kanban or whatever it is. You must be a master. So I put a word mastery here, a master of this thing. Of course, this is the Scrum in my case, but also all the things that are around Scrum. And I believe if we want to change the organizations we work with, we should be masters of this thing. Usually there is no uh, problem with that when I talk to people and I work with Scrum Masters. This is like broadly accepted, so no, no surprise here, I believe. The other is also sometimes um, broadly accepted, but with few exceptions. I put people as a second thing. Um, and by people, I mean the teams we work with, the individuals we work with, because we also work with individuals, right? Not only the teams. And also, I put me here. Self-awareness, ability to manage your own uh, energy, ability to stay sane in sometimes insane organizations. Um, so, by mastery in that area, I believe we should put attention to who is a human being. I mean, the people we work with, they are people, they are human beings, and they are strange species. We should really, really focus on that and learn a lot about people. And now the thing starts uh, a bit controversial for many. If we are about to change the organizations, we also should be, in my opinion, more and more aware about the business the organization does. And of course, this is the product owner's perspective, could be long-term perspective, the business or the product, actually. Um, are you able to help your product owner if you have no clue about the business that person tries to do? Can you help your product owner if you have no clue about what is the business models the organization operates with? Uh, you, not, you, you don't have to be a master of that because that's someone else's responsibility or accountability, but definitely you should be curious about it. If I spelled correctly curiosity here, it should be about it. About right, yeah. Okay, so business or product, long-term perspective, uh, learn a lot about it to be able to ask smart questions, to be able to help, to suggest, to be able to understand what people talk about. 
The second, for the lack of better word, I still put a project here. And I'm very open to change that to something else. I see people use uh, a word initiative or something like that. To me, it, you know, regardless of the word, it still means the short-term perspective. You've got your stakeholders, you've got your budget, you probably have some deadlines. Are you aware of what they are? Are you able to ask smart questions around it? Uh, do you understand the tension, the emotions that people have when they talk about their projects? Are you able to help them with those emotions? Are you able to be with them? To understand and to help them change their views if the change is needed. So far so good? More or less? No new enemies on the room? Let's check this one. Software engineering. And this is interesting because, you know, sometimes Scrum Masters uh, look like they want to kill me when I show them that they should be interested in the software engineering domain. But this is a very no-brainer to me. And, you know, you don't have to be a master, of course. This is about being curious. And you know what? You decided to work with people who chosen for their lives the profession of software engineers. They produce software, okay? If I were to go to a cold mine and work with miners, teaching them Scrum, probably I would read a lot about coal mining out of, out of respect to those people, if nothing else, of course. So software engineering, again, you need to understand what's going on on the team. You need to be able to ask questions. You need to be able to help them with their profession. You are not there for yourself. You are there for them. The last one, or almost last one, is the organization. Um, what I mean by that is basically the organizational culture and the change. How do you change the culture? How do you change your company? And you know, you've got also a very special people there who are able to do that by changing the, the game rules. This is the management. And they are still needed, they are still there. We still need them. Uh, probably the role will change in time, as Peter said. Uh, but they are there. They've got their tensions, they've got their responsibilities, they are accountable for something. You need to be able to talk to them and to understand their perspective if you want to change that. I used to be a brave young scrum master who was passing the message about, you know, the new wonderful thing. But, you know, without understanding the background, it's like, it's a pointless message. You need to understand what you are trying to actually do in the organization. You need to stay curious about those things and learn more and more and, wo and more to be able to work with the people uh, deeper and better than you are today. There is, I said six, but there is actually seven perspective. There is one more and I will get back to the me here. And really this is something that I, I'm not sure if I use the correct word, but I like to call it self-awareness, like the meta level. You need to understand your abilities with regards to all those domains. Are you a so-so scrum master or are you really a scrum master? Thank you. <laughs>